So, let's go back to the start of this. Laracon Bowl. What happens at Laracon stays at Laracon. All right, so what's something we could do to make this application interactive? Um, you know, one simple thing that comes to mind is on that, those user profiles, we could add the ability to edit it, the user's name. So maybe we click a button, we get a text box, we can type in a new name, hit save. That'd be one simple thing we could do. So let's give that a shot. So let's hop in here. I can go to a profile and now we have an edit button. But how are we gonna make this happen? What tool could we use? Um, raise your hand if you've ever used a tool called Laravel Livewire. Laravel Livewire is an awesome tool written by Caleb Borgio that lets you build modern, reactive applications um, that feel like they should have tons of JavaScript in them, but they actually are like 99% PHP. Um, so it's a really cool library that lets you write components, almost like reactor new components, but they're pure PHP, and let you build really awesome user interfaces, leveraging your existing PHP knowledge with no slow build step and JavaScript compilation, all of these other things that come with uh, embracing the JavaScript world. So, Let's go back to our ID template, this page that we're looking at right now. So I'm going to hop in here, and you can see that now we're showing a live wire component here within the page. So we have our header, user profile, back to all users, and then we're showing this live wire component called user profile. And this is not just any live wire component, it's a vault component, and I'll show you what that means in just a second. And if you do something like view or react, you know that a component's logic when you're using those tools is usually in the component itself, it's with the template. So if you have a view component, you have usually the logic at the top, and then you have like the HTML down below, in the same way in react. Um, and probably the same way in most other modern JavaScript tools. And that's, that's based on a concept called code co-location. And it's actually the same concept that inspired Tailwind. It's basically the idea that all of the code that changes at the same time should try to live as close together as possible because it's annoying to have to jump between two or three files, right? Like when Tailwind came along, it was such a breath of fresh air to edit the styling right there in the HTML instead of in 10 custom CSS files that had 2,000 lines apiece, and you never know what will break when you change them. So that's, that's what inspires these sorts of architectures, and that is also what has inspired Vault as well. So let's crack open this user profile component. It is in a folder called Livewire, and as soon as I crack it open, you can probably tell this is not just any Livewire component that you might be used to. And Vault actually lets us write the Livewire component right in our Livewire template. So we have our Livewire component at the top, and then we have the template down at the bottom, and we can use this component to build a live, reactive user interface right in our views directory without writing a single route, without writing a single controller. So if we dig into this page, when we had it up on the screen, you saw that edit link. And so right here is that button. And you can see I'm using wire click so that when we click this button, it toggles the editing property on that live wire component, which is right here at the top. And what that's going to do is toggle the text area, the text box. So if we're in editing mode, there on line 38, we'll show the input uh, and a save button. And if we're not in editing mode, we'll see the edit button and the user's name, like what we saw before. So, if we go back to the browser, we can click edit, text area, we can update the name, hit enter, it's updated. And you can see that's reflected back on our user index. So, very easy to write reactive, interactive, live wire components in a single file with all the code location that we probably all love from Vue and React, but in Laravel and in PHP. So the good news is you write your live wire components 
your bolt components the same as you would write a live wire component because under the hood, a bolt component is a live wire component. You don't have to learn any new live wire concepts to use the bolt. The components are written the exact same. You can use all of the exact same features that is in live wire. You can use them in your bolt components without any limitations at all. So you don't really have to learn anything new. You don't have to learn any new concepts as long as you can use live wire using bolt will be really, really easy for you. So, um, I've built a few other pages to show you some of the other cool things you might could use Bolt for. So, you remember our stats page. So, I'll go back to it now. Um, our user stats page that show the count of the current, uh, the number of users and the latest user's name. So, let's open that up in our editor and see what it looks like. So, if I go to the stats page, you can see there's the header, and now I have two LiveWire components in this page. I have the user counter that shows how many users we have in the system, and then I have the latest user component that's going to show the latest user's name. Now let's pop open the user counter, for example. So I'm on the stats, user counter, and again, I haven't registered any of these components manually, I haven't registered any routes, I haven't really done anything but drop the templates into these directories and everything just works. Um, so in this user counter, I have a bold component that initializes the count to zero. As soon as the component is loaded, we'll count the current users. And then of course, as you might expect, we'll just display that count down here in our template. And we're using another really cool feature of LiveWire, the wire poll directive on line 26. What this basically tells LiveWire to do is every two seconds, call that method on the back end again to refresh that count. So this page will be totally live if we add a new user to the page. So let's go into that page. And I actually have a little artisan command called artisan create user. And if we run that, now we have six users and we have the latest users there. So you can see that all of this is live updating. And as we're adding users, we get fresh data and it all works super smooth, super easy. All right, so that is an example of some other things you could do with Volt and LiveWire. Um, so that is a basic overview of Laravel Volt. I want to take it one step further and show you a more advanced feature of Volt before I wrap up. So to do that, I'm going to switch to yet another branch called a fragment branch. And let's go back to the beginning of the application. So, I'm going to refresh the database to you all. We have that user index um, right here. And we never converted that to a LiveWire component in the previous example. And sometimes you have a portion of a template that you want to make a LiveWire component without making the whole template a LiveWire component. And that's what we're going to do right here. So, if I hop into this user index, you can see that down here at the user list, the actual list of users, I've wrapped in Bolt directives. And this basically tells Bolt everything within these blocks is a live wire component in line. And then we can hook into that component up here at the top. Bolt, name, user list, pass to the component, and then we're good to go with whatever we want to do. Any feature of live wire, we've hooked into that fragment of the view and we can start doing things. So in this example, I'm going to get all the users, as you might expect, um, as soon as the component is loaded. And again, within this component, I've added a wire poll, get users, that's going to consistently refresh our list of users as we add new ones. And to show you how easy it is to add new features, uh, live wire features to this component, let's go ahead and add a button to create a new user. So basically to do that, I can just come down here scroll up a little bit. Come down here, uh, we'll have a new button, give it some margin, underline it, oops, um, create user, and we're, we're going to hook this up to something on our live wire backend, so let's have wire click, uh, we'll call it create user like that. All right, and then uh, we need to actually add that method here in our component. And I have a user factory, of course, the factory, the database, the eloquent model factory that comes with Laravel. Um, so we can just say user factory create, and then we'll go ahead and invoke that get users 
just to go ahead and refresh it since we just created one, so it will show up immediately. All right, so I think we should be pretty much good to go. We've added a button to create a new user here. So we refresh the page, there's our button. We go to create user, there's our new user. Totally live. And as we said, we added a uh, polling to this, so if we create a new user here, we get the new user right there on the page without even the question the page. So, that's Laravel Bolt. Totally interactive, single file live wire components that let you build really reactive modern applications without even leaving your templates directory, just like you would in a modern, rich JavaScript application, but leveraging all of the power of the Laravel ecosystem to build something really cool. So what is it good for? Now, would I try to build Laravel Vapor using only Vault? Maybe not, but for a smaller application that has a limited number of pages, this is a really, really productive way to build a prototype, to get something working really quickly, to have a really fast uh, development feedback cycle because there's no complicated build, there's no JavaScript compilation happening each time we make a change. So, like I said, these are both experimental prototypes. I'm sure we'll keep working on them. We need your feedback based on what you've seen today. You're the first people in the world to ever see these packages at all. Um, so we need your feedback. And uh, again, I'm, uh, I'm Taylor Rotwell. I created Laravel. I've had a great time in your country. And, oh my gosh, I messed up my final finale thing. Oh, it's just at the room. I'm sorry. Thank you all for having me. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, the DMV. I'll be hanging out here until the last person leaves to meet you all. So thank you. Thank you to the whole there. Coming to your team. Thank you.